to be your host for this event because today is Wednesday and it is Chavez Day. That's what we're calling Wednesdays now. But we're going to, we have a few more seats open and you guys paid attention and got the new link. Why don't you share that with your friends? So we have a few more seats and share it with your upline, your downline, your around line, all of those circle of people that you wish to be on this journey with. And you tell them to bring their notebook and their paper. I see Beatrice has got her paper ready. She just needs a pen. Okay, let's go ahead and get that. And uh, we'll get started in a second, okay? All right, thank you so much. All right, you're getting the message out. We're going ahead and increasing the numbers. You don't want folks to go ahead and miss out on this event. So, but we're going to go ahead and get started as we are at the hour. Thank you all for being here. And we're going to get started. General disclaimer, welcome to the We're All Satoshi official presentation on Affiliate Marketing Model 2.0. All presenters are providing their services on a volunteer basis. Their views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of the organization. While we aim for accuracy, errors may occur. All content is for informational purposes only. The information provided is general, not personalized advice. We are not liable for any losses. We provide informations and systems, but we do not endorse any purchases of memberships. Your decisions are yours alone. So we advise conducting thorough research. If uncertain, seek guidance from a qualified professional. Attendees accept these terms by continuing. Let's explore affiliate marketing cautiously and curiously. Legal disclaimer. You are viewing a We're All Satoshi official presentation on affiliate marketing model 2.0. All products, services, their component parts and operating methods and systems either provided by or created by We Are All Satoshi belong solely to We Are All Satoshi. All IPs are protected. Anyone copying, distributing or reselling any We Are All Satoshi product without express permission risks serious legal consequences. Any unauthorized broadcasting live streaming or social media sharing of We're All Satoshi presentations is strictly prohibited. Downloading and re-uploading presentations without permission violates copyright law and may lead to legal consequences. Excellent. Welcome to UK Prime Time again. Today is Chavez Day and he is here to give you an update on what is happening in the wonderful world of WAS. Chavez? Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Grace. Hello, everyone. I welcome you all to UK Prime Time. And today is Wednesday. So I'm here to bring 
updates every Wednesday, but this Wednesday I'm here to bring a lot of clarity. Uh, Recording in progress. A couple of days have been very good in terms of me understanding the uh, emotions and also understanding the uh, concept, uh, clarity of the community. In terms of leaders, I have been on uh, numerous calls with leaders, uh, with small groups in person to understand the sentiments of the community, to understand the challenges, also to understand the level of grasp in terms of uh, the roadmap, in terms of a boomerang as the product, in terms of uh, the understanding of the uh, <clears throat> roadmap uh, clearly. So I found that from last Wednesday uh, till today, uh, there were some uh, misconceptions or you can say misunderstandings. Of course, uh, I briefed about the uh, timeline, about the rough idea of uh, the uh, you know scale. Also, I briefed about the roadmap uh, properly, but <clears throat> maybe uh, my explanation was, or the message which was understood through the message, through my, uh, you know, roadmap was not very clear to the community. Uh, and that is why we require to check at the ground level uh, what is the uh, real, uh, you know, emotion or real understanding of what I deliver. And after getting into these meetings, I understood uh, different things. Also, it led me uh, prioritize the elements of the roadmap clearly, because I understood what community needs now, what is the demand, what is the requirement, what is the need and want. As needs and wants are both uh, different things, but they go hand in hand. As the CEO of this company, as leader and responsible person of this community, I understand and I take everything, uh, all, all the responsibilities of these wants and needs on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. So it is my duty. I will continue to go on small calls uh, with all the leaders covering most of the part of the world as far as I can in next couple of more days so that I have uh, I grasp more clarity from the ground, from the ground zero, to understand uh, what is the, uh, you know, what is the understanding of the product. Uh, so today I will develop more clarity. And before I do that, uh, I want to apologize for the change of the link at the last moment because there was some difficulty in the earlier link. So very little people got to join, but I hope you all are uh, responsible enough to deliver my message to the rest of the community. I, as I have been say, uh, saying, I just need one guy to understand uh, what I want to deliver and then the rest of the job is done. It is affiliate marketing industry. It is very powerful industry where, uh, you know, a message needs to go very clearly. So last Wednesday, I updated about the roadmap that what are we going to do? So I'm going to share the same screen as last week and I'm going to clarify and break it down a little properly as I'm not good at this. I know uh, you guys, uh, after sitting in these small meetings, uh, you know, starting with uh, David for the I understood that there was less clarity. And then I sat with more leaders, more leaders, more leaders. And, uh, you know, all the Indian leaders then sat with Germans, then Hungarian team, and then one by one, all of them. The people who are uh, left, I will try to get on all the calls with your community uh, very, very soon. And this whole week, I will try to cover the whole world to understand uh, the requirement 
and that's where i will prioritize more in these segments of roadmap so <clears throat> let me re-clarify everything and then we proceed okay so <clears throat> as i explained last week uh, the expected challenges or the expected uh, you know shortcomings which we derived from beta version into mvp while we rolled out there were so many there were failures in transaction there were losses in gas fee there were uh, you know transaction errors not finding pairs errors on dap dap not working in certain location dap not working with certain uh, phone networks internet networks all th those issues you know compatibility of wallets everything there were a list a big list that we got before we deployed the beta uh, into mvp and that list was very critical it was just like the audit report that we received from the auditors and there were uh, severity there were points uh, which were heavy risk in terms of security and then medium and then low so these were the points that we chalked out before rolling the MVP. So we took a lot of time. We took a lot of analysis. We did a lot of analysis. We took a lot of time to make sure that we check all those points before releasing the minimum viable product to you, to the community, to the end users. And we found that once the DAP went live, there were no such challenges. There were no failures in transaction. There were no errors. There was abundance of market opportunities. There was not a single transaction or click which failed. And we also estimated that there would be a gas consumption issue. That is why there was a button, special button before the launch in the DAP that optimized your gas fee, that made your gas fee much lower than usual to execute that big trail of transaction into one hash. Even after doing everything, the bandwidth of the Polygon network could not handle all the transactions because whenever there is heavy number of transactions on polygon the gas fee rises it may not be uh, the same in the future with other networks this is where the community did not understand my last wednesday update and a lot of people got confused but when i got with on call with them uh, individually and they you know, it is a two-way conversation. So it is an interaction. When you talk, I listen. I talk, you listen. And then more clarity was built in my mind that there is confusion. People thought, the way I wrote these one plus one transactions, they thought only one transaction will be there on each network. So even after three months of timeline where we work very hard and uh, include all the networks, almost best ones, and then you will be sitting on just 10 transactions that they know. After explaining that, I explained more things, which unfortunately you did, you, you guys missed out or did not understand. Before I explain that, let me also clarify this. Why did we, why and how did we achieve to develop a product that is so outstanding. The product did not have any shortcomings. You guys failed to witness the, the expertise of technology that we delivered because there is a restriction and this is temporary. So in your mind and hearts, 
the hopes that you took from the day you bought the license should be even more because now you have the product that you and I, we imagined. It is the limitation of the network that is not letting the product perform right now. And we know how it will perform. So your expectations about Boomerang should be even bigger, number one. Establish these facts in your mind and heart in a way like you did from January. That is exactly what made us deliver this outstanding product. There are so many other tech teams, there are so many other engineers, they could not develop a product of product like this. You know why? Because they're just working with the vision. Maybe they have the same vision, but we have vision and you guys, your hopes, your desires, your energy, your urge to receive the product also played a big, big role in this. Your expectations that gave us huge pressure to deliver this cutting edge product. So right at this point of time, understand the roadmap. When you will have the clarity of roadmap, you will have expectations. I want you guys to have high hopes and big expectations like you guys had from January that made us deliver this product. Okay, let me explain then what, uh, how it, it is going to, you know, go. So we added the analysis of the roadmap. And I said, one by one, we will introduce different networks. And it will simply give you liberty to do one more transaction on new network, which will be added. And most importantly, the possibility of running multiple transactions will come into picture. You know why some of the leaders who are rank leaders, who are trainers, they are able to do 100 transactions a day? Why? It's not because they are beautiful, they are uh, very close to me, nothing. No, it is also a test to analyze the network properly, to set the parameters so that we can have end users also run multiple trades, hundreds of trades. So the moment one more network will be added, the possibility of running multiple trades on a single network will be very clear in our vision, in our eyes. I cannot, nobody can take uh, decisions on the basis of emotions. I did not take a single decision of, on the basis of emotions. Otherwise, the product would have been live by 5th of April. And we would have been in a struggle because the product was <clears throat> not checked in terms of every uh, point that we have created in the checklist. But when it was ready, we moved it live. Now we have, as a community, we have to take this roadmap very religiously and understand and <clears throat> make others understand very clearly that's how we will achieve as a tech team to that point i need you guys to expect and hope more and more 
that will make us work even faster. So <clears throat> the analysis is on adding more and more networks, the possibility of running more and more trades will enhance. These leaders who are running, uh, some of the leaders who are running multiple trades, they will even run thousands of trades to understand, to give us an understanding whether the community, if they run, if end users, they run 10 trades on each network a day, how would it look? And we are working rigorously in the same direction. So do not be confused with the uh, model. And this is not a temporary setup which will just uh, be there for a season. No. We are establishing the tech. We are establishing the requirement, the roadmap in such a way that it should and it will work for years to come. So this understanding is very, very important. There will be a time, the end goal of the product is a position or a point where there is no restrictions for multiple networks and user is just clicking on various networks. Wherever the possibility is, AI will be smart enough to fetch profit. But AI also needs to enhance its own algorithms with time. As a community, we need to glorify this product because this product is going to be limited. Boomerang will be limited only to 500,000 wallets. This will be a beautiful group of 500,000 wallets repurchasing, cashing out, repurchasing, cashing out. Always. You guys have no idea what we have developed. I know making one transaction a day really sucks right now. But the moment you will have multiple, ask your leaders how do they feel when they click, click, click and click. And this liberty or this position where we just click, 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 we have achieved in these months. It has taken a lot of time. And you guys played very important role in this because you guys had expectations, hopes that made us deliver this product. So we are right on track on add, uh, adding more networks. And as we continue to add networks, we will move forward with analysis and then deployment of running multiple trades on single networks as well. We have a very particular roadmap of three months. Where in these three months, we will not only add networks, we will also deliver the condition where every user makes multiple transactions in particular networks. And eventually, there will be a point where there will be no restrictions. We did not design the product to keep the restrictions. The product is designed in such a way that it should deliver profits to end users and so many users at the same time. This is the approach of the product. So in these three months, let me clear the roadmap once again. In these three months, addition of networks, 
possibility of running multiple trades on each networks. Along with this, we will also give you one more utility program. This utility program will be very big and it will help us acquire next 1 million users easily. Because the next utility product we will give you in this span of <clears throat> three months. Within these three months of roadmap while adding networks is something that is based on uh, crypto expenditure, which is the biggest use case of this industry. And nothing can be done without consensus, without the momentum. There have been very good products which failed. There have been average and poor products which got su so successful in this industry. And the products which were successful in this industry were only and only because everything is good in technology, in cryptocurrencies, in blockchain technology. There is no if and but or there is no poor or good in terms of, uh, you know, tech. Everything is good. As long as it is able, it is able to provide you the ground. And all these products were successful because the users believed in the product believed in the roadmap. Ethereum took almost four years to deliver the basics on the white paper because people believed in the vision. And you guys did. That is why we delivered this robust MVP. So next three months, Addition of networks, introduction of more transactions on single network, along with a utility program that will help you tap one more million users. The program that I will introduce in these within these three months will be giving you a potential user base where you can potential, uh, you know, hot leads of about 500 million people on this planet 500 million people on this planet they hold crypto in their wallets more than that and if we target just one percent it is very big what i'm going to give you guys is a legal crypto spending mechanism So everything in this industry works with consensus. And I will try to establish consensus and I will try to establish the same narrative into the mind and hearts of our community leaders, builders within next couple of days. I may not with the Wednesday updates because it is one way conversation and I'm, I'm really not good at this, but I will go more and more. I will try to establish more and more clarity. Our clients to arrange a call. Also in these three months, what we will do is we will introduce different elements into boomerang that I have not even talked about that I will not talk today. But setting priority is the clarity that I got after getting into these small group meetings. And I will get my priorities more precise by getting into more calls and understanding the demands and the needs and wants of community. I know 
what you guys really want right now. And this is my responsibility to deliver. And I will deliver. And I will also exceed in terms of delivering your expectations. I promise you guys. All we need is the same narrative and consensus. That is the key to make anything successful in blockchain space. As simple as that. So that is it. Wait for next Wednesday update for clarity into the breakdown of the ro roadmap. And when are you going to get uh, the next, this utility tool that I'm talking about? Um, also, before closing, I would highlight the updates on BTCC ecosystem as I have, I have not been able to organize call especially for BTCC uh, ecosystem that I have been trying to. So miners which were struck, the miners which had little issues in terms of uh, mobility being sent or received has been cleared and fixed. All the logs have been cleared. The nodes which were not integrated or which were integrated but not running, are running now. DAO tokens, the governance token on which we have built this DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization, have been made ready to be minted to every miner. So every miner mining in the BTCC ecosystem will receive one W DAO token. This token will help us to start the voting mechanism and the users holding more DAO tokens influence the votes, influence the results more. In next couple of days, the minting will start. We have minted the batch of DAO tokens already uh, according to the minted, already minted miners. The newly minted miners will come along with DAO tokens, W DAO token. The technology has been built. Last two days I was primarily focused, completely focused into BTCC revamping. This feature will allow you to enhance the you know, this will make the BTCC ecosystem more rich. Also, this gave me and the tech team green flag to start minting the miners against boomerang licenses that were sold. From the day, the minting was uh, not regular. And I want to encourage all the community members and leaders promoters to start educating their community about the mining ecosystem so that every miner that has been given as a gift with the boomerang license starts mining. And if that happens, according to my estimation and calculation of the hash power, I would expect BTCC price to reach at least $100 in the next couple of weeks. Because the number of miners that will be minted will be in thousands every day. And these all miners will come into mining ecosystem. When all these miners will come into mining ecosystem and they will be staked to the node, then the possibility of introducing more nodes into the BTCC ecosystem will also arise. That way, we can have 
the new integration or new introduction of nodes and validators on our blockchain. This will also help us as a blockchain to get a little more in terms of gas fee. The gas fee will be a little increased. Since this is all decentralized, so the revenue of the gas fee also goes to the nodes and validators. So everything is going back to the community. And as I said, I will repeat, nothing in the crypto space is successful, even the best things, when there is no consensus. So there is a huge need. We have consensus, but there is a huge need of a bigger consensus. This is a very big machinery that we have created together. So when it moves, you don't realize it is moving because it is very big. It is a huge machinery, but it's moving, constantly moving like galaxy of stars. So On top of this, I announced in US prime time that within the BTCC ecosystem, we are going to gift you a P2P platform where there will be no subscription, uh, no memberships, nothing. This will be just for the utility of the users into BTCC ecosystem. The peer to peer platform will allow you to sell and buy BTCC assets into other assets of the world with your own determined price as a user. This will have a decentralized escrow which we will regulate as a tech team and we will take the responsibility of the losses. It will be audited by third party so there will be no requirement of or there will be no possibility of errors. These developments will come into picture in next couple of weeks. That's why I have given a framework of three months. In these three months, with the utility program that we are announcing, with the boomerang, licenses that you can sell and you can acquire more users and make 500,000 benchmark and we close the licenses from then is also there. According to my estimation, the utility program will help us or it will help others, the people who are coming, it will help them and we will give them utility. We will give them freedom of spending crypto to at least 1 million people without, without fail. So choice is yours. Let's push this with an even bigger consensus. Earlier, you were just promoting Boomerang on the basis of the proof of work concept that you saw in the beta phase. Now you have the product in the picture deployed with a roadmap. Also, you have within the roadmap one utility product and one gigantic blockchain network where there are elements which are constantly increasing. I will make more clarity into small group calls that your leaders will organize and my intentions will be to cover most of the parts of the world as soon as possible. Thank you.
Wow. What an update, Chavez. That is incredible update. Thank you so much. I know that hands have gone up already. However, I have asked uh, Trashit to um, come on board and ask a few questions at this time. Sure. Thank you. Trashit. Hi, Chavez. Hello. Yeah, thank you, Grace. And uh, hi, Chavez. Uh, you know, the last Wednesday call was so confusing. But I think this particular call would have brought so much clarity and so much confidence in the community that, you know, you will you have almost like left no excuses with us. Thank you. Thank you for this call. And just to reassure you, Chavez, you are asking us to have hopes and that to high hopes. You know, that's that's something, you know, it's a huge responsibility. Would you just reassure? <laughs> you are asking us for high hopes. Would you just reassure this? These these hopes on which we built everything, I asked, I requested everyone to establish. And that has made you guys move this big. And that has made us develop and deliver this product. So we receiving even higher hopes will help us deliver even bigger. And this is how the world works into blockchain space. And so just a little confusion. You are you are talking about 500,000. Is it 500,000 licenses or 5,100 of community? OK. For both, both the things are same for us. Every wallet is a user for us. So when a wallet acquires a license, it is a user. So it is 500,000 licenses in total that we will sell. So just just imagining that three months, six months over, over the you know downline, we have only five hundred thousand. That's the max capacity as three of months. now. Three, three months. months only. So that's the capacity that Boomerang will have, and the the entire community is limited to that five hundred thousand licenses only. So anybody who has not yet bought the license or is willing to buy more licenses, they need to be in this capacity. Is it correct? Yes. Great. Yes. So, uh, Shavez, as such, we are not left with any questions, but just to ask you, there are some discrepancies in white listings. And I think NFTs, most of they have been resolved. Do you Would you like just like to address these issues? Sure. So the discrepancies in the whitelisting, which were there, we collected information with the help of leaders uh, using a Google form or something. I don't know what user, the leaders do, but they give me data. So the data is very good. And we are able to fetch uh, more discrepancies using this data. And I think we have covered and used everything. Hopefully, the whitelisting have been done by now. If not, then users can check. And they can ask their teams to check within next one hour. And the discrepancies have been solved. Maybe there might be 0.1% chance uh, if there is any one left, they should contact their upline as soon as possible. And we will try to resolve their uh, issues. And what uh, about those who are purchasing boomerang licenses now? How much time it will take for them to be whitelisted and see the profit ceiling? Within 10, 24 hours of time, they are regularly being whitelisted. All right. So uh, let me just let me just and let let us close this call with a with a brief summary of everything. So we have a massive platform. It's like a gigantic machine. That's that's collecting arbitrage profit from across the blockchains. From the day of launch, we did not have any technical issues, but the, the limitations were from the blockchain side, where we, as a platform, when we were launched, it spiked the gas fees. And to protect people from you know losing money in terms of gas fees, we are having this restrictions and again many times you have told even i have told in my master training these restrictions are just for the limited time as we go multi blockchains and as our ai improves these restrictions are going to be laid off yes yes All that right. is the goal super and with these restrictions laid off maybe 
uh, you know, there will be many, many developments in terms of platform after three months also. So when this Bumadan goes full scale, everybody will be able to claim profits for years and years to come because how we are making profit is from the uh, the the liquidity mismatching on the blockchains and as long as arbitrage possibilities are there in the market our platform we will keep claiming them is it correct yes that so is there correct. is no end to the platform or there is no limits to the platform what profits we can make and it can continue as long as the market exists as long as the liquidity discrepancies exist we will be making profit and we will be delivering this profit to the entire community of five entire trading community of 500,000. Is it correct? Yes. Uh, I will also explain this in a very uh, different way and you guys can test. So if you go to someone today and show them boomerang and uh, tell them about the product, give them this uh, idea of fetching uh, arbitrage opportunities with mispricings and using flash loan to execute so and you tell them that if you keep clicking every day all the time you will get profit and just tell them <clears throat> that this is how it is going to happen and then come back and tell me what do they tell you uh, without even showing the beta version or anything, no stories, nothing. Just tell them the concept that this is how it is generating profits for the users. It is an incredible product. It is magical product. Nobody has deployed, delivered, developed this kind of product. You know why? Because all these ventures, they have been cashing out these mispricings by themselves. Why did Binance, why did not any decentralized exchange, any aggregator release their own product of this sort? Do they not have technology? Do they, they, they don't know about the mispricings? Do they not understand how big uh, users can, can be onboarded? No. We did that for the benefit of our community because the world is not stopping here. We have different products. I want to, after 500,000 users, I want to release another product that will help us acquire maybe 5 million people. Great. So there's one silly question, just one silly question. Instead of giving 100 trades to 100 traders, why can't we give 10 trades to maybe 1,000 people? This silly question and I'm done for the day, for the night. Okay. okay. So I will explain this. This, this is the, uh, you know, this is a question which everybody asked in the, in the small call sessions where there was interaction. So the idea of making a large-scale product or you can say very scalable product in which thousands and thousands of people they can uh, realize not just profits i mean let's say it's a game they're playing game right where there is a scalable product so we tackle things on the basis of the whole threshold it is just the limited mindset of ours, which is able to do one transaction on Polygon, which is making us think like this. The moment we will go multi-chain, and, and I believe leaders and trainers can relate, because they are able to do 100 transactions a day, that is giving us analysis to establish multiple transactions a day for end users. So this is a scale that I have gave so that you, you guys do not come back to me after three months. Why did you, you know, come on a Wednesday call and you say, stop recruiting. We are, we are done now with 500,000 licenses and it's the game show is closed. Now everyone who is inside is inside. So this is a gentle, uh, you can say, 
you know, caution or warning or telling you guys that this is the maximum threshold that this multi-chain product can hold. I know the recruitment of 500,000 licenses will not be done in a short span of time. It can be on a short span of time as well in this industry. I know this, this MLM industry is crazy, but what I am talking with the conventional tech mindset in which the networks when will be added and the users will come on board, it will go hand in hand and we will reach at the peak where there are multiple networks and there are multiple transactions and all 500,000 users are winning. Well said, Shavez. Thank you so much. And thank you for everything that you are doing for this community. Uh, I'll, I'll invite uh, uh, Shiba, Shiba Joe to address next. Go ahead and unmute, please. Thank you very much. Hi, good evening, Chavez. Uh, fantastic update and uh, a lot of detail that I'm sure will bring a tremendous amount of clarity to to those people who've not yet got clarity. I just have one question, and it's: um, Is the bot still part of the uh, the roadmap, Sorry. or is bot the bot part of the roadmap? Well, uh, yes. After getting uh, leadership into leadership calls, just like with you also, Joe, I understood uh, the priorities of the community, what community needs right now. Uh, the leaders, I mean, they all trust me, they all love me, uh, you know, which part of community needs bigger cash flow right now, which part of the community is uh, able to generate traffic and make money with the affiliate side more, but some part of the community is waiting on licenses to mature their returns. So after understanding everything, I am resetting my priority and this is how I, I believe this is how real leaders they work so after understanding the ground i realized that addition of networks first implementation of more transactions second third would be the multi-network or multi-chain bot i would also clarify this we have automated the system already so much because earlier the possibility or the you know building of auto trading bot with was with the same concept just like you are doing with the mvp we automated everything ticket size pairs browsing of pairs everything ai is doing in the back end now just the auto clicks on the auto transaction uh, is supposed to be the bot that you also can uh, build the moment we go multi-chain. It will be just easy, very easy. I mean, anyone who knows how to write Python a little bit will be able to just, uh, you know, it is just like Internet of Things, you know, uh, IoT. One click here, switch network, one more click here, switch network, one more click here, like that. So auto trading bot will be very easy because everything is automated already. The moment we go multi-network, have multiple transactions, we make users happy first, and then you guys will start asking. So now uh, the demands uh, are different that I understood. The hopes should be like what I'm saying, and the desire is always the same we have. So, yes, uh, like that, Joe. Fantastic. I did think of another question as well. Um, but there is little doubt, certainly in my mind, and I'm sure the rest of the panel here, that what you have created is something truly extraordinary. And during the course of making my videos, um, I can tell you I feel that buzz of excitement every time I, I talk to myself on screen when I'm making the video. Um, how malleable is the time scale that you've given on the adding of networks? You've talked about 10 to 15 days for each network. How malleable is that? Okay. So 
I will say I will let you guys uh, understand with the addition of first network the timeline that we take, and then the second network, and then you guys will be aware and more uh, comfortable with the required time. Of course, tech team will also be faster with one or two more networks uh, because they also know what they are doing and how fast they can do. Every accomplishment. Uh, with the tech team makes them better. So this is uh, my analysis so far uh, with my developers as well. Fantastic. And just one final one. How far are we? How far away are we from the next network? Okay. So twelfth. That is two days from now. So two days I will uh, go on <clears throat> group calls, and after two days we will start backend testing for Arbitrum within Amazing. our team. Chavez, there's, you know, I couldn't be more behind you if I was stood right there in person. It's amazing to be part of this community and part of your project. And I hope that we reach your expectations, let alone you reaching ours. I hope that we reach yours. You, you guys great. always, always have been, uh, you know, exceeding my expectations. And I hope <clears throat> this, this run would be very long. And when we will, uh, you know, take rest after this one, uh, we will be having a different level of uh, setting up uh, of expectations and hopes. Can't wait. This is fantastic. And as you guys know, Chavez is on a lot of Zooms with a lot of leaders and he's got his next appointment already calling him. So please, with that in mind, uh, Chantel, and David, and then Brie. OK. Well, thanks, Grace. And Chavez, congratulations. Uh, today was an amazing call. And uh, again, another level of, of clarity. And you've worked with us a lot in the last couple of days. Um, you know, the people around you are becoming familiar faces because we speak a lot. Um, I have a question because we are now focusing on the 500,000 people to make sure that we can go to the to the fully fledged um, uh, uh, vehicle that we all want. And I like, I, I had this picture and I want to ask if that's possible. You know, we all know when a clock comes down, you know, how close are we to the 500? But I think we need a boomerang analytics or a WAS analytics that really gets us to see how this development roadmap has milestones and how we are establishing it with each other and how we have milestones to celebrate. Um, uh, so if you could be creative with your team, then I think that will give our teams a lot of uh, motivation uh, to sure. work with. So, sure. Next week, uh, the landing page of Boomerang will go live. Um, and within the landing page, <clears throat> we will start uh, including the roadmap and everything officially. Also, the support page and everything will go live. Okay, great. So, yeah. But I think also seeing seeing how the AI, because people are starting to understand that AI is something that's learning. So if we can if we can feel that we are almost taken by the hand by the AI, we really get a different experience for our people and to come on board and say, hey. We're testing, we're bringing it forward. We're seeing the, the, the increases of the margins. We're seeing more people do, being able to do transactions. So that unfolding just motivates people. Sure, sure. Um, we, will, we will also pay attention uh, for that. <clears throat> Thank you. David? I, I, Thank you. Yeah, I know because there are some people waiting in Sweden for us and, uh, and around the world, but um, the limitations of the networks, can you easily tell that you know to get more clarification for the people the limitations of the networks see uh yes this is also very confusing within the community when i say limitations it's not like transaction per second uh, i know everyone is uh you know they go to blockchain scanner they check uh, transactions per second of course if we will lift the restriction all the transaction will be successful but are you ready to pay $3 gas fee for a trade? No, right? We don't want you to go in a gas fee shock. So it is not 
ट्रांजेक्शन पर सेकेंड और एफिशियंसी ऑफ द ब्लॉक चेन टू रन ट्रांजेक्शन इट इज द fluctuation that it creates when so many people they execute their trades and there are so many things which are running on a network already that makes the transaction fee go high so the efficiency of any blockchain network is 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 uh, not uh, you can say limited you can pay 100 dollars gas fee and execute your transaction anywhere any time even when thousands of transactions are in queue and you guys did that in btc20 smart chain when some of the miners are struck right increase the gas fee and make it go so blockchain network is not limited in any way but here we are not we are not here to make users lose anything in in the uh, you know in the uh, way to get more profitable yeah so it's actually is this actually a protection that people do not because we cannot see the profit on the cell phone yet we can see yes. it on the computer and this protection for the community that they do not lose money thank you thank you for that answer thank you thank you brent are you muted shabas has to go yeah Blowing. i don't fully really understood uh, first and foremost, of this, I echo everybody else's sentiments. The really, it seems something in the background. Okay. Um, yeah. The question that I have is um, I have a variety of individuals, and I'm sure there are other leaders who have a variety of individuals, meaning that there are active and passive uh, individuals or active and investors. So the question I have is um, for those who uh, do not uh, participate in sales, they're more. Um, they might uh, uh, create their own structure, but they do not actually uh, participate in sales. Um, the, in terms of creating income until the amazing products come to fruition, what do you see coming down the pipeline fairly soon that we can anticipate? Um, again, we're enthusiastic about Boomerang. We are on bated breath, but in the meantime, what products would create that you anticipate putting on the pipeline that will create um, revenue for us? There are two ready products. We will uh, deploy one by one. First, the utility program that I talked about, the spending uh, mechanism. Uh, so with that uh, product, particularly uh, the expected or you can say the target audience uh, that we have is 500 million users all of, all across the globe and the second one uh, will be more interesting and of course even bigger than uh, the rest of the products we have deployed in the history that is uh, up and running already in the b2b versions with few corporations that we have signed contract with so after three months, when the boomerang licenses sales will be closed, then we will introduce the next big one. Within that period, we will give you utility product and that will run hand in hand with every product, just like the miners you have in the suit always to, you know, whenever there is a user who is hesitant to buy a license, you offer them a $50 miner quickly. So it will be like that. You will have a uh, number of products in the suite. Thank you so much, Chavez. I feel like now I'm I'm really behind on schedule. I owe you another hour. <laughs> so thank you all so much for your great questions. Uh, Chavez has got another meeting that he has got to get to. So thank you all so much for your attention. Chavez, a fantastic update. And uh, thank you for taking so many questions. And so, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me, Chavez. Thank you so thank much, you. everyone. I'll see you all on next Wednesday. And organize uh, calls with your leaders. Ask them to schedule a call with me. Uh, please do not repeat. Uh, let us let me cover the whole, uh, you know, groups one by one. And then I will com come back to you guys because there will be no new information that I can pass right now. So once you have organized with certain group, do not repeat that. 
and I will try to cover as much as possible. That will establish a bigger clarity in me, and that also gives me great amount of energy to move forward. Thank you so much, Grace. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll Thank you. you. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our event for this today. Again, um, it's great to have Chavez always visit with us, but I've got to go ahead and spare his time and energy. So thank you all so much for being here. You have a great rest of your day, a great boomerang day, a great WAS day. Get on the WAS starship now. <laughs> <laughs>